I'm Evan Pantazzi. Welcome to the Q Show channel. Now, we investigate um, a lot of the old martial arts moves and we put the Q Show into it the way it used to be instead of in the modern sportified uh, versions. And uh, we get on a topic once in a while. I like to explore something. Uh, right now, I'm exploring the Shokin in uh, quite a bit of detail. And the reason was is because um, uh, a practitioner of martial arts, a rather famous one, said that it was kind of useless. Okay, well, the Shokin, okay, everybody knows it as the Yipong Ken or other names, uh, is an excellent weapon. Now, it's part of the tiger fighting style. And the tiger fighting style is an in close fighting style. It's not a long range style like the crane systems are. And that's probably where he failed to see the use in it. And the, the reason um, that I like it so much is I like to fight inward, okay? As I get older, I know that I don't have the long range game anymore. And as you, as a martial artist, uh, gets older, you'll see that your speed, your dexterity, your, um, your wind, okay? Everything diminishes a little bit. You need to study something that has uh, staying power that you can do long into your old age. And as I get older, I, I fine tune all those tools for me. And Shokin is one of them. Now, Shokin also called a tiger's tooth. Now, you'll notice that a tiger never leads an attack with its teeth. It goes in with the claws. And the reason it goes in with the claws is to subdue the, um, the prey. All right, and it does this with a neurological attack on its limbs. And that's the way the Kyushu International program was developed, go from the limbs inward. And uh, it, then it gets into the tiger where you're in the clinch position, the grappled position, and that's where Kyushu really shines because there's less room for um, error in missing that everybody um, decided that Kyushu was worthless because you couldn't do it for a, and hit it in a real confrontation. Well, it depends on your range, all right? And obviously they never studied the Kyushu, but when you get in tight, the Shokin works wonderfully well. Now, you can do it for many different things. You can totally control someone once you get in and start using the Shokin. And uh, you can also devastate the person and render him incapacitated, okay? From uh, just a neurological shock to a fainting to um, total unconsciousness. And that's all developed by the, the Shokin. And I'm gonna be doing a Kyushu Friday road trip on this topic somewhere down the line. Um, but again, I, I prefer to um, really investigate it. now. As you know from my prior uh, videos, I do appreciate the Weichi Huangai Nun um, systematic fighting uh, series of katas. Uh, there's three main ones of San Chin, Se San, San Se Ru, and a fourth one, Super Empai. Uh, some people call it a different names, and it's not the Goju Semper, Super Empai, it's a different one. Uh, and you've seen that, I'll let you investigate the uh, videos of the past on the system. Anyway, the use of the Shokin is really pronounced uh, in this system. And again, because I know that it's uh, a blend of tiger, crane, and dragon method. Now the crane is your entry, the tiger is your fighting capability, and your dragon is your ability to transition. And there's far more that attributes that go into these three animal styles that I'm, I'm not going to say publicly, um, but they're very powerful on your uh, internal systems as well as your fighting um, potential. 
So again, the Shokin is a wonderful tool if you don't lead with it, like try to uh, force a tiger technique, which is the Shokin, into a crane method, which is sparring or long distance fighting. Once you get into the tiger's range and you're paralyzing the person or holding on to the person, grappled position on the ground, standing, doesn't matter, now the Shokin really shines. And this is what you should really think about when you see that um, show up in one of your forms, katas. Uh, look at what came before it, look what came after it, look what's being done during it. That's when you're going to expand your martial art. But if you hear me talking on a, t a subject like the Shokin for a long period of time, it's because I'm, I'm studying it, I'm practicing with it. I've always used it, I, I love the technique and I've worked with it a lot in the past but I'm ex still exploring because there's still more to learn from it. And once you have that attitude, your martial arts will never stop growing, whether you have a personal instructor at the time or not. You are your own instructor with the Q-Show, the tools, the targets, and the trajectories.